Hey everybody, it's Marshmark here. This is going to be my Legend of Tarzan movie review. I'm not in the usual spot, uh, just because there is not uh, enough lighting, it's not daylight. But I wanted to get this review um, kind of out of the way, so I can get to my other things that I have to review tomorrow, uh, and then also some other things. Caden's coming, so we're just going to try to plan everything. We're going to watch the Ultimate Edition of Batman v Superman. I've seen Batman v Superman five times, so it'll be my sixth time seeing it. So I'm really excited for, about that as well. Um, so I had to get this review out of the way. Um, quick thing also is that what I'm going to do is that since there's, you know, there's a lot of people that want to see spoiler-free reviews, I'm going to make this a half spoiler-free, half spoiler. So I'll tell you when spoilers are coming, but for now, spoiler warning till the spoiler half. But right now we're going to do my general review of the movie and when I thought about it, spoiler-free, and then we're getting on to spoilers later on. So Legend of Tarzan. Oh, no, no, do not see this movie. I'm telling you, don't waste your money. Because I'm telling you, it's probably going to end up being a streaming movie by next year. It'll, it'll definitely hit Hulu or maybe Netflix uh, or somewhere out digitally by next year. And that's where you should watch it. You should not watch it in theaters. And there's a problem with that because a lot of families are probably going to want to go to this and movie tickets are expensive. Uh, you know, my brother and my other brother, we all went to see it and it was like $21. And it was $21 for that movie. No. No, 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 no. So next time I will take them to a better movie. It was my idea. I'll take them to Suicide Squad. We'll, I'll like, we'll, we'll all go to that. Uh, instead. But anyway, yeah, this movie does have problems. This is actually probably one of my top, uh, you know, least films of 2016, along with, along with Ratchet and Clank. I haven't seen Warcraft, but a lot of people just say it's horrible, so that's gonna be another one. Um, there's just a lot of others that are really not, you know, worth your time. So Legend of Tarzan. What did I think about it initially? I initially gave it, you know, a rating of six and a half. That's what I gave it. Now, here's why. Now, let's talk about the cast. The cast is Samuel L. Jackson, Alexander Skazgard, and then Margot Robbie is the main three. And then there's a few other people mixed in there. We even got Vandal Savage from Legends of Tomorrow in a small role. So it was kind of like, okay, I see what you're doing there. Um... The cast is okay. I think that the cast is pretty good. I liked Alexander Skazgard uh, quite a bit. I think that he was really interesting, and I really like him. Uh, he should get some more work uh, in Hollywood, and I think I would go see his movies. I think he's really interesting in here. Samuel L. Jackson was just hilarious. He was kind of like the fun uh, part of the movie. I think that he was really hilarious, funny. He did a lot of the jokes in the movie. He was just a fun character to be around. Margot Robbie... Uh, you know, I mean, throughout most of, like, the beginning of the movie, I did not like her a lot. And then when I got through the movie and she did the kind of, like, her sassy routine, like, damsel in distress routine uh, with the villain of the movie, which, were, were, that's a whole different story. But I, I just thought that she got better through the movie and, you know, except for the beginning. The beginning, I just erased her completely. But throughout the movie, she got better and better every time. So I'm excited for Suicide Squad. I think she's going to do a way better job there just because she's playing a better character. Um, you know, would you choose Jane or Harley Quinn? I, I don't know. I'm glad that she uh, signed a bunch of deals before she made this movie, though, because I have a feeling she, she uh, you know, needed that. I have a feeling she needs a lot of work because Tarzan ain't helping her. <laughs> Jane, the, that character, ain't helping her. At all. I feel like Harley Quinn will definitely be the role that gives her, you know, everybody's attention. You know, everybody will pay attention to her after that movie because she will be so good in that. I have a feeling she's going to be even better than everyone says that she is right now. A lot of people that have seen Suicide Squad have said that she is amazing, so I am getting ready for that movie. But for now, Margot Robbie ain't doing anything great right now. <laughs> just just saying. She ain't, she ain't doing any favors to this movie, particularly. But she's pretty good throughout the movie. It's just that she, she's not giving it, like, a huge explosion of awesomeness, like she will Suicide Squad. Uh, but anyway, like I said, the cast is pretty good. The villain of the movie, I don't understand. It's kind of weird. The movie gets lost in its own story, which is why I think it is not very good. Uh, it has action sequences that are very pleasant to have. It's very, they're nice. Uh, it kind of gives more uh, feeling throughout the movie, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, yay, we're finally getting something great, because parts of the story in this movie are very dull, they're very boring parts, they're very exciting parts, and then there are parts that you're just like, why is that in here, you should have done that instead, uh, because, I'm not gonna spoil anything until we get to the spoiler part, but there are parts in here that are just kind of like, what? Like, that, why wouldn't you do that instead of this? Because it doesn't make any sense. Uh, but anyway, and there's also, you know, parts of the story where you're kind of like, alright, get over it, I want to see more of that. I want to see more of the action, and I want to see more of what I came to see. Because this movie 
Tarzan, Legend of Tarzan should be called Legends of Not Tarzan, because it's not a Tarzan movie. It's mainly a movie that has Tarzan elements. It's kind of like the darker, grittier version of Jungle Book. <laughs> That's what you're paying to see. Um, but, you know, generally, it was alright. Nothing crazy, nothing great. It was just meh. Now let's get to the spoilers. So this is the part where I have to say spoiler warning. I am going to be talking about spoilers in this part of the review. Are you guys ready? Still here? Everybody got you? Everybody here for spoilers? All right, so let's get started. So the spoilers are when I said about the one part being like, why didn't you do that instead of this? I feel like, first of all, Disney should have made this movie. I feel like Disney probably would have done so much for this movie and it would have made it even better because it could have been kind of like Jungle Book, but still had this tone, but like mixed together. Like if you take Jungle Book and then lighter parts of this movie and mix it together, that would have been an amazing movie. I feel like they would have hit it. Like with the talking animals, the songs, I feel like they could have made it like the Tarzan movie from Disney. I feel like that could have been really fun to watch. And it's supposed to be kind of like a remake, but this is a whole new telling story. And I think that Warner Brothers is going to do that with their Jungle Book. Because if you guys don't know, Warner Brothers who made this movie are doing their own Jungle Book. And it'll kind of be like, what? Like, why are you doing that? Like, it's like, Disney, why aren't you on these movies? Like, why aren't you... Like, getting Tarzan to your thing. I feel like they should make their own Tarzan movie and just see how it does. Although, you know, I don't know. It's just weird. And then also, there are flashbacks to the original story. This movie is a continuation of Tarzan, the, the original story. And there are flashbacks to parts where Margot Robbie, like, Jane, met Tarzan. They did the whole thing where he, like, picks at her a little bit. You know, they did that, and I actually thought that was really cool. I, I liked that part of the movie a lot. Um, and I was like... Why aren't you doing that instead of this? Like, why aren't you doing the, like, they did the flashback of his origin and his parents being killed. I was like, why didn't you do that as a whole movie? Then you could have had a better, like, movie, because this is a weird story. Because, like I said, the movie gets lost in its own story, and it's really sad to see it, because it's like, Tarzan should be a really great experience. Because, like I said, it's the legend of not Tarzan. It's like the legend of John. Like, he wanted to be called John for the whole movie, and I was like... What the heck is going on? Like, this isn't... It's Tarzan. Like, do a Tarzan movie. It's like, if you want to do the flashbacks, do them as a movie. Because it's like kind of like getting annoying to see movies that do flashbacks. It's kind of like... Because uh, uh, it kind of takes you out of the movie. Especially in this one. The flashback just took me out of the movie completely. It's kind of like... I want that as a movie. Not what you're doing. It's kind of like, really? Why won't you just do that instead? So that's what I had to say about that. And also... The villain of the movie, what? I feel like there was no, I feel like, again, it got so lost in story that it was kind of like there was no point of keeping up with it. It was kind of like, okay, so then we're getting up to this fight scene here with these, I don't know, I guess they were Africans, like the the, the scary guys, you know? They look like Aborigines, but the, aren't those Australian? or Af Yeah. So, I, I don't know, I don't know what they were, but they were, you know, the African guys with the spears. It was kind of like, okay, we're keeping up with this, but then we have this fight scene with this guy. And it's like, Jane said he had killed, Tarzan had killed his only, like, I, was it this guy or Tarzan that killed his son? I don't know, I can't understand anything. I'm lost in story, because it didn't do a good job of giving you that story, but they were trying to tell. I don't know who wrote this movie, but there is just parts in this movie that are bad. It's really, generally really bad. And then, we, you know, when we got past that fight scene, then we were getting that big third act with the, the swinging Tarzan and the thing, and you're like, where was that? You know, like, an hour ago. It was kind of like, that was also a sad part to see that they had done so much of this, but they couldn't do much of that. And it was kind of like, you know, really hoping that they would do a sequel, but do one right? I don't know. I kind of don't want a sequel because this one was so bad, but it's kind of like, if you'd done, a, done the movie right the first time, we wouldn't have to do that, Warner Brothers. So overall, this movie is not great. It's not a great movie. It's not even a fun movie to experience, uh, because just because it's it's not entertaining. Like I said, there are some boring parts, there are some dull parts, there are parts where you're like, oh, and then you're like, Arr. and then you're like, ee, and then you're like, ooh, and then you're like, uh, and then you're like, Ugh. like, it's kind of like there are parts that you like and there are parts you don't like, and it kind of revs up. You know, you go to an 11 and you go back to a 1, and it's just not that entertaining. So that's what I had to say about Tarzan. There are parts also where I felt like it was like a little rushed. Like, it's like, first we were in England and now we're in Africa, and then we got to this fight scene, and they were passing that to go to the third act. So, you know, it was just not. It was not fun. Overall, I have to give it a six and a half. I was going to give it a five, but the action sequences were pretty cool. Like Tarzan swinging around, that was pretty cool. So I had to give it, you know, some of the third act action sequences were really great. So I had to give it um, a higher rating, uh, six and a half. What did you guys think of the movie? Comment down below. 
Are you going to go see it with a friend? Like, if they haven't seen it yet, would you recommend it? Um, I would not recommend seeing this movie. Uh, and then overall, you know, your thoughts on the whole Tarzan, should Disney make their own version? But what do you guys think? Comment down below. Links are there to my other movie reviews. Links are there to my Twitter, Instagram, Vine, blog channel, and gaming channel. Don't forget to like and favorite this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. You are king of the jungle. I feel foolish for asking, but you gonna fight one of those? It's impossible to take the wild out of something. It seemed to work with you. The Legend of Tarzan. Rated PG-13. Experience it in IMAX.